In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build any meta weapon or budget build in the game for any weapon that you desire with a simplified format so you don't have to waste time online trying to figure out how to build guns or which are the best guns. This whole video is going to teach you everything you need to know about building meta weapons and that is pretty much it. So let's get straight into the video. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Outplayed for sponsoring us. If you guys don't know what Outplayed is, it is a free program that you can use on your computer that will record any gameplay moments uh, with just a touch of a button. And it also can be auto-triggered by uh, the customization in the settings. I'm going to give you a quick preview right now. I play Escape from Tarkov, so what I'll do is type that in there. Uh, there'll be many other games. I can also customize the video quality here if I want to, depending on my PC specs. You can also change the bitrate as well so you can get higher quality. Um, and obviously the resolution, uh, that's just your saving area. And also these are the key binds to bind all of the stuff. Uh, but pretty much this uh, program is very, very customizable. So make sure you check it out and shout out to Outplay for sponsoring the video. All right, so uh, to start building guns in this game, you're gonna need all of these attachments. These are all the best in slot. And through each of these attachments is gonna go from like budget to best. Um, and it's gonna basically show you how to build all the guns in the game, any meta guns that you need. So first of all, we're going to go through the grips here from like budget to like uh, function and stuff like that. So if you're trying to keep it cheap, the RVG is the best grip you can buy in the game for price. If you're trying to get Ergo, the um, Cobra is the best for Ergo. If you want full recoil, the RK2. If you want uh, best in slot all around, it is the SE5. If you want more, a chance of uh, being able to tank bullets to your chest, this is the best grip for that because wait, the way the grip is positioned, it blocks bullets to your chest more because of the uh, canted uh, grip. I've also tested this, so if you care about uh, having that chance of tanking an extra bullet because of the arms, then this grip's definitely for you. This is also on the side of more recoil. Obviously, this is a lot more expensive than the other ones, so it's up to you. Then we've got the CQR, which is like best in slot for like Ash 12, M4, and HK, but you will need um, like a rail to put this on on some of the guns. And then overall, if you want something that's really easy to put in any of your builds, you can use the AFG, as this doesn't need uh, this mount right here. So a lot of these grips will have to go in here like that. Um, this doesn't. This can just be whacked on a gun like so, which is really, really handy if you don't want to make things complicated for yourself. So that is all the grips right here. Then we've got all the buffer tubes. These are the tubes that allow you to put stocks on your guns. These are all the best ones in my opinion. We've got the AER, which is overall the best, which is what everybody uses all the time. If you are filthy rich, you can use the red one. It's actually slightly better than the gray one, but it's a lot more expensive on the flea market. Uh, then we've got the MT Crosshair, which is basically for extra recoil, but it will lower your ergo. Uh, this is good on guns like SR, no, M1A, um, and some guns that you just want to go full recoil build with. Um, then we got the Colt A2, which is like the budget, basically, if you have not many, if, if you don't have much money and you want to, you know, keep your rubles, basically. Then all of the stocks here, we have all the most stocks. Each one of them are the same. Um, all the, they're just different colors. Uh, all you want to do is buy the most stock and then put the rubber, brick, uh, rubber grip on it. This will give it max recoil. And this is honestly the best around a butt stock that you can put on your gun, which is really, really nice. Uh, now, if you want full recoil, you can go with a PRS. This is probably the best recoil stock in the game, but this will lower your ergo a lot. And then if you want to go full ergo on your guns, you can go the GL core as this is the best for ergonomics. So that's pretty much all the stocks. These are all the best. This is what you'll see on most meta guns here. Those just go on there like that. It's very, very easy to mod. Now we're moving down to the AK stocks now. Uh, we got the PT1, which is like the budget version. Uh, in order to put this on your gun, you will need this attachment right here, which is the Zenit PT lock. Uh, some guns like the AK-74U will require this. Other guns don't need it, and you can whack on the Zukov. The Zukov is overall the best stock for 74Ns and stuff like that. And then you have the PT3 as well, which is also best in slot as well. But that will be required on this thing here. So these are the two best ones, and this is the budget if you don't have much money. Now moving on to lasers, we got the LS321. Uh, you'll see this a lot in MP7s and stuff like that. This is the classic. It's got like a red and a green on this. It doesn't have a flashlight, unfortunately, which sucks. The Baldur, are new, uh, Baldur is a new um, flashlight they added this way, but it also has a green and red laser with it, I think. This is also a very, very good laser uh, to use. Uh, there's two of them. You got a gray one and a black one. These are like 13K or something. They're not that expensive. Then you've got the D-Bar, which I think is the best overall. Reason being is because you got the flashlight, the infrared for nighttime raids, and the green and red lasers if you want to. And it just looks the best in my opinion. Then you've got the blue laser, which is very prominent in raids. Like, it, it stands out a lot. The further away you are, the bigger the laser becomes. Uh, but this laser will get you um, 
It will give your position away very easily because of that. But it also is a cheap option, and it's definitely nice to hip fire on people. So that's up to you. These are all just preference, in my opinion. Now we've got the rear um, grips. Uh, these ones right here are going to be for like marks and rifles, like SR25 and stuff. Uh, so you can buy this off the flea market, all of these. This one is Fen Raid only, unfortunately, but that one is the best one. So starting at the front here, we got 11 Ergo on this one, 12 Ergo on this one, which, by the way, you can buy these two from Traders. And then the third one is Fenerade only, and it's got 13 Ergo for best in slot stats. Like I said, this is for M1A, SR25, and RSAS. Then we got the best uh, in slot M4 grips and HK grips, uh, which is the Ergo style, plus 15. And then we've also got the Gras, which is also plus 15. The only difference between these two is looks and weight. Uh, they're both very, very good. Uh, now moving on to the AK rear grips, we got the RK3, which is probably the best you can go for if you want to keep it cheap. RK3 is very, very good. The AGS is the best in slot uh, for any of the AKs, so you can also use this if you want to. And then we got the Scorpius, which is like a middle ground in between the uh, most expensive and the cheapest. But those are the best for all the AKs and stuff like that, and RPK, and etc, etc. Now moving on to suppressors and muzzle devices, we got uh, the cheapest 556 suppressor here that you can use that's good. You're obviously going to need the flash rider right here and then the suppressor. Uh, you can pick these up for very, very cheap off the flea market. This white BSG added this new suppressor. It's actually pretty good stats, but it's not the best in slot uh, for like the middle ground. If you want to spend a little bit more money, you will need this uh, muzzle device here plus the suppressor. Um, and then the best in slot suppressor for any M4 or HK, even the 556 MDRs and the scars is the Seika suppressor. You will need the suppressor and this muzzle device here. So that is the M4s covered and HKs and SCARs and all that other stuff. Now moving on to uh, 7.62 rifles. Uh, we got the best in slot right here, which is the QDC. This is the, literally the best in slot for this wipe now. Uh, you will need both of these attachments to mount them. These are quite pricey, but they are very, very, very good. You will see this on uh, 704s, Mutants, MDRs, uh, 7.62 MDR, and a few other guns. It's a very, very good suppressor. Then we got the alternative version as a budget, which is also pretty good, which is the Thunder Beast. You'll need to buy this uh, muzzle device here and the Thunder Beast. Unfortunately, this is a flea market only, but as of right now, they're only like 30K and they're probably going to keep at that price for a while. But this is also a very, very good suppressor for its price. Now, moving on to 545 AK, as there's not much variety in the uh, 545 AK uh, muzzle devices. Uh, BSG added this suppressor last week called the Waffle Maker. This suppressor is ridiculous, like it's one of the best suppressors in the game, but it is for 545 only, which really sucks. Um, so if you're a 545 enjoy, this is the best you can use. And then obviously you'll need this muzzle brake here. This is without it at the best. It makes, you can get like 74 ends down to like 38 recoil with this. Now, if you want to go loud um, on all these guns, we have the BMD here. This is going to be for the 7.62 uh, rifles like the MDR. So for example, let me show you. Um, this is really good if you like ergo. All you do is you whack on the attachments like so. Um, and then you've got the load MDR. This will give it a lot more ergo. This will work on SA58, uh, 7.62 MDR. It will also work on AKMN and the uh, AKM, I think, if you've got the right attachment. But honestly, if you're using those guns, it doesn't really matter. This is mainly for the MDR. Um, then for 5.56, we have a 5.56 muzzle device similar to this one. Um, this works just the same as a BMD. They both have the same muzzle flash, which is really, really annoying, but they are really good if you want ergo on your weapons. And then for 545, oh, sorry, not 545. If you want to go loud on your AKMNs and uh, 74Ns and not use a suppressor, you can use the JMAC here, which is like one of the best. JMAC is really, really good for most guns. So you'll see this a lot on like AK-103s and stuff like that. Those are the muzzle devices covered. Now, I recommend on all the guns that you use, you put on the Defiance front and rear grips. Reason being is because they give plus one ergo and they also take up the least amount of space when you put a scope on them, uh, which is like this. Um, if you use any other ones, you can get bonus stats, but they they get in the face of the, uh, the, the scope a little bit, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, those are the best if you want to get the extra two ergo. Um, they're very, very cheap too, so make sure you buy them if you want them on your guns. And then we are moving on to the charging handles, like M4 and stuff. These are the two best charging handles in the game. They are kind of expensive, um, but this is if you want to get the best stats. Now, if you don't want to get the best stats, you can just use the default ones that come with the M4 naturally, which would be the AR-15. So you won't get any bonus ergo, but it'll be cheaper if you want to. But these purely are the best in slot stats for M4 and HK and stuff like that. 
Uh, now we're moving on to up, uh, receivers now. There's two receivers I recommend. Best in slot being the Mer 1S. This is the best for all M4s and stuff like that. Uh, this will give it the best stats overall. Then you've got the Gen 3, which is like a budget version if you don't want to go for the Mer. Uh, and this allows you just to put any attachments that I've listed here. This is just uh, for the better stats, obviously. Now we've got barrels. So the barrels are a bit weird in this game. So the shorter the barrel, the more ergo you'll get on any of the guns that you use in this game. So how I see it is like short barrels equals high ergo, high recoil. And then long barrels means lower recoil, but less ergo. So uh, it's completely up to you and your playstyle on what you prefer. Obviously, there is a balance here. You've got the 370 mil and the 18 inch. Um, obviously, these are like a bit middle ground, so it's completely up to you. This will apply too for like um, scars and stuff like that. And the same for mutants and stuff too. Um, and then you've got the gas block here. So this is the best in stock gas block. I highly recommend you use this on any M4. This will give the best stats. It's simple. You just put it on like that and it's good to go. Um, now moving on to handguards now. So we've got th three different handguards. This is going to be for the AKs. You have the VS combo, which is like pretty decent budget. Um, this is overall one of the better ones in the game. It's very close to the Troy, but I would say this is the cheapest one. Then we got the CMRD, which I think is the best looking one. And it also has very good stats. And then we have the best in slot, which is the Troy full length rail handguard. This gives the most recoil reduction and the most ergo. Personally, on my builds, I like using the CMRD. You don't really notice the extra recoil from this. I think it's like 1%. Uh, moving on to M4s, we back again. Um, we got the SIA QD 10 inch rail for the short barrel M4s. And then we got the 14.5 inch for the long barrel. These are the two best in slot handguards. And then we've also got the MK10, which is the best in slot for recoil if you want to use this. You will have to use a 6-inch um, handguard mount for this, which looks like this. Um, it's the, sorry, it's the 10-inch. So if you want to use this, you'll have to buy this attachment right here, which is the Alexander Arms 10-inch rail. Um, not many people use this, but I use it sometimes. It's a pretty good um, handguard, so the choice is completely up to you. That's all the best in slot handguards in my opinion. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more variety in handguards if you want to go cheaper, but that's completely up to you to check through the preset menu, as I think these are the best ones here. Moving on to the Mutant and SR and RSAS and stuff like that, all of these uh, handguards can be used by this. So this handguard right here is one of my favorites. You can mount a CQR grip on this for ergo and stuff. Um, it's not the best, but it's still very, very good. So I highly recommend this if you're going to whack on a Mutant if you want to. Then we've got the RSAS, which is the best in slot all around for the RSAS, SR25, and the Mutant. This is easily the best one. Um, so if you want to have the best, this is the one you need to buy. And then we got the Carbon Fiber one, which is just mostly aesthetics. It is still has good stats. It's obviously not as good as the RSAS, but it's still very, very good. Um, and that is all of the attachments covered, boys. So I hope that helps you guys build your guns. That's pretty much how you build modded guns in this game. I know it seems like a lot, but it's going to be cut up in segments so you guys can skip. That's pretty much it.